What is going on guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Now in today's video I'm going to be showcasing the brand new Grotty Bestia GTS that was added into Grand Theft Auto Online earlier today in the Further Adventures in Finance and Felony update. Now to start things off, the Bestia GTS is a sports car, not a supercar as previously thought and although the car looks very very good from the front, I myself am not a huge fan of the back of the car simply due to how it's designed. The front is like a Ferrari F12 but the back looks more like an Alfa Romeo. I'm sure there will be people out there that do like this car and its appearance but to be honest I myself am not really a huge fan. But you can purchase this car from the Legendary Motorsports website for $610,000, which I think is a very reasonable price, maybe even cheap, especially in comparison to some of the other DLC vehicles we've received in GTA Online over the past few weeks and months. But then again, this car is only a sports car, it's not exactly the most attractive looking cars either, and even though it's in the sports category, it's not particularly that good in regards to its performance, and it's not really up there either. With the faster sports cars. But this car does redeem itself at the Los Santos Customs as there are more customization options available for this vehicle than pretty much any other vehicle available in this update. I'm not saying there is a huge number of options but there are more than some of the other cars available in the Finance and Felony update. To really start things off you have an option to change the front bumper, you've got the option of the Euro, Race or Drift bumper, three very good looking bumpers in my opinion. I went with the Drift bumper. You can also change the rear exhaust and you can fit this very quirky looking over exhaust which I eventually went with and then you've got three awesome hoods to choose from these being the smooth hood the twin vented hood or the carbon twin vented hood I went with the smooth hood in the end but they're all very very good looking now with this car mostly being based upon a Ferrari and red of course being Ferrari's signature color I chose to stick with the standard color I purchased this car in that being a red primary with black panels around the car moving on to the skirts customization option I eventually chose the street skirts as it stood out the most but still the other two options I could have gone for were also very good looking. Then as for spoilers there's no crazy options for this one but I feel that's down to the style of the back of the car itself so I eventually chose the mid-level spoiler. Of course I selected all the standard stuff such as the turbo upgrades and the transmission upgrades. Moving on to wheels then I selected a set from the high-end category even though this car is a sports car but I didn't really spend much time going through the different options available to me. I simply selected the chromatic Z wheels. I thought they did look pretty good and of course I selected black as the wheel color to match the other black panels on the car. I of course also ensured the tires were bulletproof and I then selected red as the tire smoke to match the paint job. And of course finally I selected limo as the window tint. But there we go, so that's it for the customization of the Grossi Bestia GTS. I do think these customizations do massively improve the appearance of this car, although I'm still not really a big fan of the back of the car, I'm sure over time it will wear into me and I will get used to it. But still, overall, it is still a good car. Sure, it's not the top of its category when it comes to its speed and performance and appearances, but at $610,000, it is reasonably cheap, and for those people with not too much money, this will be a very good purchase for you in this update. So there we go, guys. That is it for this video. I want to get your thoughts and feelings on this new car. Go ahead, leave a comment on the video right now, and let me know what you guys think about it and whether you're going to purchase it. It would also be greatly appreciated if you guys could also take a few seconds out of the click like button, as it helps me out a lot and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel I recommend that you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So once again thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.